class gets underway in Generation X Issue 2. The school year gets off to a rocky start as Jubilee and Kitty try not to only rein in destructive students like Quentin Choir from destroying the school, but also the purifiers who have invaded the new Central Park grounds of the Xavier Institute. Quentin takes this attack as an opportunity to show off his powers, which he uses to almost kill the terrorists. Had it not been for Jubilee's intervention, the scene would have been bloodier than it already was. As the battle dies down, Jubilee rounds up her class and tells them what their class will be dealing with in that of the real world practical applications for their powers so they can learn to deal with people like purifiers or scared and angry humans. Everyone in the class is excited to get started except for Quinton who is angered at the thought of being put in the beginner's class again and not part of an actual X-Men squad. Generation X issue 2 continued its school-based adventures this issue and the book is better off for it. I'm glad that they haven't actually gone on missions like all the other X-Men books but they've actually set an area of activity for this team and that they will be inhabiting a really cool one at that. The team is kind of like the X-Men or mutant PR team sort of thing of the X-Men and it's really an interesting way to look at it as well and I'm interested to see how they will handle all the troubles that come their way so sort of like uh, angry and I guess racist humans, uh, purifiers, stuff like that so it's going to be very interesting interesting. The only drawback of this issue, like the first issue, is the art, which is really weird looking. I have no idea why, but it's so weird. I'm going to give this issue a 7.5 out of 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you'll check out my other reviews of comics out this week. You can also catch myself and Joel from Cape Joel in our weekly podcasts, Cape TV and the Comic Multiverse over on his channel, the Weekly Pool Archive channel, and on SoundCloud. Links to them can be found in the description below. Also, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and if you're feeling a touch generous, I have a cyber tip jar set up. Just follow the links below, and until next time, I am Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, and I will see you in another video. Here.